Good morning lovelies, my name is Simone Lee and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I will be doing a get the look which I have now on my face. Apologies again for the quality, I was praying for a sunny day for the lighting um, but it is over overcast and grey still. The look that I'll be showing you today is a very, I feel, summery and spring kind of a peachy, glowy look. But stick around if you want to see how I've done it. So far, all I have on is my BB cream, sorry, first, the Rimmel one that I use, and my Max Factor Face Finity, which I love. It gives great coverage for me and it's a great shade for my skin color. So let's get into the look. First, using Revlon's Photo Ready, I illuminate the dark circles under my eyes and blend back with my finger. Next, I grab a plain powder from e.l.f. Cosmetics with my Dior powder brush and just set my base. Next, using the Australis Contour Palette, I select one of the brown colors with my contour brush Lightly tap it and start in the hollows of my cheekbones to start the contouring. The key to contouring is really blending and ensuring you've got a seamless powder finish. Lining the jawline with the same brown colour, I then put a bit more on the brush and start blending back into the hairline. and using the same brown as well, I then define the sides of my nose. Using now the stippling brush next, I select the yellow color from the palette and highlight underneath my eyes and I do a little bit down my nose as well. Using the same brush again, but using now the pink non-shimmery shade, I start to highlight the tops of where I've started to define my cheekbones to really blend back and complete the look. The key here is to blend any harsh lines so it looks very seamless and clean. Using a small eyeshadow brush, I select the yellow shade again and I highlight the inner corners of my eyes and also the cupid's bow at the top of my lips. Next I take the Fifth Avenue Cream Illuminator and highlight the top of my cheekbones, blending back the cream with my finger. Using my MAC Mineral Cosmetics and a blush brush, I apply this to the apples of both my cheeks. Moving on to brows, I take my Rimmel pencil, I brush back my brow hairs, and ensuring the pencil is sharp, I start doing small stroking motions to create my brow shape. I tend to use small feathery strokes so that it looks quite natural. I brush back the pencil shade to blend it back into the brow. The second phase of my eyebrows is using an angled brush and my MAC Raisin Powder I add a bit of a red colour back to my brows. I then take the yellow from my Napoleon Padiste concealer and a concealer brush and I just tidy up the edges of my brows to give it a nice clean finish. Next, using one of my favorite Maybelline palettes, I use the gold shade down the bottom with a plain eyeshadow brush and just pack it onto both eyelids, ensuring I don't go too far out into the crease line. Next, 
the next thing you want to do is grab a blendable brush and just blend it out so that there's no hard edges. The next thing you want to do is grab another blendable brush that's a little bit harder than the one you just used to blend the shade out. Um, and I'm going to use the color I used on the apples of my cheeks in the creases of my eyes. Taking an eyeshadow brush and the cream illuminator, I just add a little bit onto my brow bone to add a highlight to finish off the shadow look. Next I take a savvy brown eye pencil and start drawing a line on the eye to only two thirds of the way in um, and just using small strokes and just go to the center of the eye and just build up the thickness of the line. Do the bottom of the eye but ensure you don't get any of the brown on the waterline of the eye as this will really help you open up your eye. Next, using the brown of the Maybelline palette in an eyeshadow brush, just pop a dab on the end of the brush and just blend it back into the top line on the eye. Next, take the shimmery that you shimmery color that you used on your eyelid and blend it back with your bottom of eye to create a smoky metallic look. Next, I just clean the bottom of the eye for any fallout that has fallen during putting on the eyeshadow. Lightly apply mascara to both top and bottom lashes. I've done the top and bottom lashes. I've done a light coat on each. However, to complete the look, I'm going to be putting on these lashes. These ones are called the Tiffany's by the Lashes Range at Kmart. Um, I mentioned these in my other video and for $4 I absolutely love them. So for my lashes I have the Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive that I just get from Napoleon Booties. Um, a pair of tweezers of course and take your lashes out. One eye with lashes and the other eye without. As you can see the glue dries clear and it gives a nice little fluttery effect. Love it. I really like those. So there's both of them on. I think these lashes are amazing for those who only want a subtle lash look. To complete today's look we're just going to do the lips and on the lips I'll be using the Superstay Lip Liner, Lime Crimes Velveteen in Bleached, Kmart's OXX Lip Gloss which was clear but I have used it back with product so it's now a little pretty gross but it still works. today's look. It's very understated and easy to do so give it a try. I think it can suit a lot of complexions. If you like my video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. I'll see you guys all next week.